Check this out guys, does this fit on 2021? Like you guys say, or ask, does it fit? <laughs> that's a touring model right there, so. And that's a T10 diffuser right here. And he ordered it on Amazon through my link. I'll put the link in the description below. He actually, before they didn't, have to, they didn't send these. These are the extra clips that, that will go on, on these ends right here. Right behind it. They'll go like right there, so you could actually screw it through. But that's if it reaches. But it's, you know, if you can do it, go ahead, do it. It's not a big issue. If you, it doesn't reach, it's fine, because all these clips are gonna hold it. It's gonna be, it's gonna be held by these push tabs as well, here as well. But the only thing, and they actually started sending these too. I don't need them. Cause you still have to wire them at some point like this it's better to just do it directly with this three wires right to the tail light uh brake light it's perfect this one it's more of a headache now but i wish they also cut this at least like trim this piece like from here from the middle area come down up to here you know because it doesn't fit for some reason there's a blocking by the exhaust area so we have to cut this again from you know from around here up to here that's it what i'm going to use my um, cutting pliers so that will do it and the blade on the sides so let's get to it all right looking on under the car we got to remove this clip right here so this is starting by the exhaust which is uh passenger side exhaust system right uh muffler clip there's a clip there's a clip and there's three same clips like that on the other side so that's it so six clips in total and you also need to remove a small screw from here like it's right here on this side that's already took it out so you probably can't see it but you'll see it it's attached Right there, see the tiny hole? Right on this side and the inner side, it's there. So it's connected to this piece. This plastic piece, it's connected to this. You'll see as I pull out and it's connected right here behind this. So you remove this piece out. All right. All right, so now we gotta remove this part right here. So like I said, pride tool, plastic, trim, it's not getting well. You can actually probably pull this one right here. It's like a gap from here. Uh, see, there. See, you can grab it from the bottom and just kind of wiggle it. it comes right off. And then the end, right there. That's what I was talking about. Before we had to transfer this to the next, to the other, the, the diffuser. But now they send you a, a new one to put on. So that's that. And then this side, you just kind of pull this up from this corner. Where is it? There. see right from the corner you'll see it right behind this go right behind it pull it out so the clip comes out just some of them will be really tight but some is pretty easy to take off and same thing on this side just wiggle these things guys they'll come out don't be so gentle with it That's off. And now just clean the surface. And this is what I'm gonna show you real quick. When you try to put in the new T10 diffuser, this this area right here, right above the exhaust tips, is what's blocking it from going in. So that's why we have to cut that certain amount so it goes right through.
There you go. So that's the cutting pliers. Takes a little bit of pressure, but does the job real quick. And I do small pieces so I can easily, you know, kind of bring it up like that. You can use a rotary tool if you have one. I don't have it. I'm traveling, visiting my friends, my family. So that's what I got to work with, but I'll make it work, see? So you just kind of bend them up and down once or twice. And then you simply grab your blade and put the blade away from you, not towards you. That's it, you cut that piece off. Bring it up, cuts right through. And this one, just do that. If you do it up like one and down, then it's easy to cut. In this area, I usually just cut them like that, this way. But I keep my other hand kind of far away. It's fine. See that? We just cut four pieces right there. So that's it. If you can, go ahead and clean it up. And then we'll, we'll go ahead and um, fit it in there, see how it goes. And don't worry, people can't see the side. <laughs> it, should have cut, it should have been cut like this, like a thin piece instead of a freaking a whole cut like that. But now it will fit. So we, sometimes you gotta do things yourself. And now moving on to this, the third brake plate. So on this one, you just take off the bolt. A lot of people are gonna forget the fact that they're gonna forget to fish this through. So we wanna do that first. Coming through. And it should go right in there. Ah, that one hole is blocked. See, that side is blocked. So I gotta go punch a Phillips through it, open the hole. So I'll come right back to you. All right, see, fish through it. Tighten up the bolts right there, the wires right here. And we're gonna go move on to the next step, which is make sure you guys take off the right tail light, not the left one, all right? That one's not gonna work. The right tail light. And to take this off easy, there's a way rather than, there's people who actually pull it out this way. That's the, there's a way you can break it. There's chances of breaking it that way. So I'm gonna show you real quick. There you hold that right there. Perfect. So you kind of open this up. And when you get into this area right on top, you wanna like pull outwards and pull this a little bit too. See, pull outwards and that, it opens up really nice without breaking it. You don't have to put so much pressure on it. And wiggle it, look at that. That was smooth. Now you just gotta take these two bolts off, Phillips. Started. So if you wanna take out the tail lights, you, you know, wiggling and something, you wiggle it, but if you actually like smack it here lightly, bottom and top, no. There, see that? You just hit it slightly and slowly and slowly it pop right out. And I'll go ahead and disconnect this. This one right here. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. <laughs> there you go. And then grab a flatter or something go right behind it and like pop it right out. That's it. All right, so you take this piece right here and we're gonna go ahead and be careful when you cut it through, just kind of keep the wires down. 
and cut upwards so you don't cut the wires. Hold the wires. Good, there you go, keep doing that. It gets easier when you get, see that? There you go, then just take off. Where is it? It's a good amount right there. So, take this off pretty much. This much is good right there. There, just cut this. You could leave it like that or cut it off, whatever, but you could leave it there if it's, just leave it there when you're done. You put the wires back in there and retape it with electrical tape. And what you want now is that, where is it? Um, trying to take the old one off. All right, so what you want is that slice off these three wires, not the brown one. So these three would we'll slice them off really quick. Quick, <laughs> I'm stupid. <laughs> kind of slice them off like slowly, like that. That's how I do it, so I don't, this way I don't cut. I put my, you know, finger underneath it, so, and I'm kind of running it flat like this, so. I don't cut the wire off. And then we do the other side. See that? Now we got plenty of, to see it. Like there, this is it, that's it, that's all you need. You don't have to do the whole wire or anything like that. That's it. So do, do like this much with the same thing on the purple and the black. All right, this is where I run the wire for the tail lights, the third brake light. It's right there. So if you get like a large something, a long stick or something right there, you see it would come right through it. From there with a the tape, um, I just put it right there for now so it doesn't go back down. And then I'm going to go ahead and connect these three right there. And then I'll tell you which wire with which. All right, so we have it right there with yellow connected to the gray. Black is connected to the black. And the red is connected to the purple. That's that. So we're going to go ahead and put these back in there and tape it right back up. Just like that, give it a clean look, and then we'll connect it back. Alright, All right, so again, to put this back, I'll go around me because I gotta run out. Alright, so, you wanna see these like, small, tiny plastic clips, whatever? You wanna put them in these edges right there, they actually go right there, right behind that. And same thing on the bottom, they go right underneath it. And just measure it up, like put these clips behind it just like that first. And then you see how it's flushed in? I pushed it in, check that. And then you just kind of push it inwards. Got it. All right, so when you hold that side, just there's gonna be a clip right behind it, right there. It's gonna go in. So just kind of hold this and do that like this. You should have it, it should click in. One of them clicked in earlier. I think both of them, it looks like both of them went in. It looks like both of them went in. There, now it did. The top one went in. So when you do that, right, it should kind of bend that clip in the inner one in. Just kind of press in, it should go in. So, it's that simple. You're good to go, and then you just take this seal, cut right back up. Make sure you're running all the way down. 
Alright, I'm gonna take my tools. Let's cut this. Alright, check it out. There you have it. <laughs> and it's like bright outside right now, so do one more time. Nice. All right, guys, if you liked it, make sure you guys subscribe and smash the like button, turn on the notifications, and check this out. It's this touring 2.0 touring model right here. Can't wait for that front lip to come up. He's waiting on it so bad. All right, guys, peace out.